Well, you might just wince the next time you look at your retirement savings. Wall Street started the week on a rough note. The Dow fell more than a thousand points, the biggest daily percentage loss in two years. And if you work or invest in the stock market, you know what that means. But what does that mean for people who don't have investments? Thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Birch. I'm Joy Redman. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us live to discuss why today's stock market downfall could affect you. Joyce. Yeah, Joy and Joe, even if you do not have a 401k or a stock portfolio, what happens globally absolutely can impact your financial world here in the Mid-South. But I talked with a financial expert tonight, and his advice is no need to panic. At the Cash Saver in Midtown Memphis. I'm hoping that th things will start, you know, coming down, you know, soon. The price of groceries, not Monday's market meltdown, is on the minds of shoppers. You know, with inflation, you know, it's just it's just the fact of life, you know. I mean, I'm 65 years old. I remember when Snickers were 10 cents, you know, so I mean, you know, putting in that perspective, you know, it's no different than any other time, you know. It takes time for those positive things to happen. Dr. P.K. Jane, professor and chair of the finance department at the Fogelman College of Business and Economics at the University of Memphis, says though inflation is cooling, don't expect more affordable prices. fact of the inflation is that once the price have risen, okay, they stay there. And so the things will remain expensive. We're not talking about deflation here, which brings the prices down. This week's global gut punch, says Jane, started with Japan's stock market suffering its worst drop since 1987 because the country raised its interest rates. Wall Street slumped, further fueled by a dismal jobs report, tech stock sell-off, crypto dropping, oil falling, and treasury yields plunging. All eyes, says Dr. Jane, are now on the Fed next month. In the United States, we are still expecting that the uh, Fed is going to move interest rates, uh, finally start cutting it in uh, September. That would mean credit becomes cheaper, loans become easier to get. Back at Cash Saver, shoppers hope this is a market correction, not an impending crash like the 2008 financial crisis. I'm optimistic. I always try to find the bright side of any, any story. You know, there's always a bright side, I think. You know, it, it struggle makes us stronger. Concern, yeah, that history doesn't repeat itself. It's just a matter of time. It'll probably happen again, but I just hope it doesn't. So, Joyce, what's the major concern now about the U.S. economy? Well, the major concern is recession because of all those hikes that the Fed made, and also companies are beginning to lay off workers. There is a bright note, however. It is nine hours ahead in Japan, and the market opened on Tuesday in Japan, much more robust, up more than 10 percent, which makes up for a lot of yesterday's losses. We shall see how Wall Street and our 401ks respond when our stock exchange opens in the morning. Reporting live in Memphis tonight, Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.